Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you every bug I've experienced in the last two months since Rockstar updated Cayo Perico. Some of these bugs are going to be specific to Cayo Perico and some of them occur outside of the Cayo Perico heist, but here we go. First up, we've got several in the hangar here, most of them revolving around this forklift. Here we've got the spastic box bug that happens if you move the box up to the cage too quickly. Don't worry if this happens though, because there's another bug right here that lets you get past the first bug. If you get up on the forklift and position it just right, you can actually bug your way through the cage in between the forklift and the cage. Oh, yes! Good as new. Getting out's a little bit awkward, but it's perfectly doable, everything's fine. Yahoo! Your character struggles to grab onto the angled edge, but we'll manage. We've also got this fantastic one that flips you across the entire hangar for no reason at all. I don't know if I stepped on the box wrong or if I did something to upset it, but there's that. And... this. Whatever the fuck that is. He's fine. Alright, next up we've got the infinite respawn bug. Now this happened to me while I was running the heist with three other people. Me and one other person were sync shotting these two guards and as you can see the one that I shoot on the right drops and the one on the left drops for a second and then pops back up. And then we shoot him again and he pops back up again. And again. And what again. What the fuck are we doing here? Obviously this alerted the guards and we had to kill ourselves to restart the heist. Here's a good one. This has happened to me a couple of times. Now when you're collecting the safe code if you're stealing the bearer bonds, there's a bug where the person carrying the safe code doesn't actually drop it where he dies. And when you activate it, it will morph you across the entire penthouse. It unloads all of the assets visually, but they still exist in the game, so every time I bump into something, it, it's there. It actually exists in the game, and it's marked on the map, I just can't see it. But that's fun. You have to find your way out of the invisible maze, you can do it. It doesn't break the game, I guess, but that's another great one. Next up, we've got one that might ruin your heist run right at the very end. Now, you need to be careful if you're choosing to swim away from the island, as I typically do, because there's a new bug where your rebreather will despawn off of your face and you can't put another one back on no matter how many you have. Put your rebreather on, you fuck. Luckily, this time it happened right at the very end of the heist, so it didn't kill me, but I have actually failed this heist before because my rebreather despawned off of my face and I didn't have enough snacks to keep myself alive. If the bug does happen to you, that's the best way to avoid dying. Spam snacks through your weapon wheel. Next up, we've got our first x ray vision bug. As you can see here, there's a wall in between me and the camera, but on the mini map, you will see. Bullshit. The camera detects me through the wall, and up there in the left hand corner, it says you were spotted by a camera. Bullshit. There were two walls in between me and the camera. There's a wall on the other side of that window, so it didn't see me through the window. The camera has x ray vision. Here's x-ray vision bug number two. This guy can see you through this wall up at the airstrip, and if you watch the minimap, you'll actually see it. No noise is being made anymore. I'm done burning the lock. The lock has already hit the ground, and he detected me through the wall by looking at me. Here's one that's not specific to Cayo Perico. On Xbox, your controller might just stop being responsive within Grand Theft Auto. The controller is working perfectly fine. I'm able to open up the dash, move around through the dash, go to the home screen, and interact with everything just fine. But in the game, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to look around, I'm trying to do literally anything, and I can't. And because I can't do anything, I'm not able to change my outfit and join a new session to make sure that any progress I've made has been saved, so you just have to quit out and potentially lose progress. Next up, we've got a great one. Here's the newest God Mode bug. Now watch as the Los Santos Super Police try to do literally anything about me. They fucking can't. And if the police can't do anything about this with their infinite ammo, their large numbers, and their magical 100% accuracy laser vision, what is a normal player gonna do if somebody decides to grief in a public lobby with this? There are only two ways to fix this. If somebody else is in God Mode, you can crush them with a Kanjali or something similar, a big tank, and just sit on top of them, or you, if you're the one in god mode, you can kill yourself. These bugs should not exist in the game. The bugs that they immediately fix aren't that big of a deal, but the ones that still exist like god mode are still in the game. Look at how easy it was to find this bug and activate it. You literally just walk into the cab company. How many people do you think accidentally stumbled upon this? Watch out, watch out, watch out! 
the fact that this exists in a game made by a AAA developer is absolutely ridiculous. Here's another one, by the way. This is the Immortal Jet Bug, which you can do to whatever jet you want. Bonus bug, I just remembered this one while I was finishing up the video. Whenever you log in, you might be missing some of your throwables and ammo. Basically, just pick any random throwable or probably a heavy type of ammunition. Here I'm missing RPG shells and C4. Thank you, Rockstar. Over $40,000 worth of ammo. I probably used about ten to 20000 of that. Thanks. I've also taken the suppressor off of this thing twice now. It doesn't cost any money, but I have to go to ammunition to take it off, and it's a minor inconvenience, so I don't know why it keeps putting it back on, but there's that too. Fix your shit. If there's a bug that benefits the player in any way, they are right on that. They fix it right away, but game-breaking bugs like this that ruin the experience for everybody involved, they do not care. They don't care. They put the effort in to fix bugs like merging cars so that you can put wheels on a car that you normally wouldn't be able to put on it, but they don't go out of their way to fix something like a god mode bug. They fix bugs nice. where people can walk through walls to get better loot in Cayo Perico, but they don't fix bugs that stop your controller from working mid-game and make you lose progress. And beyond their terrible prioritization of which bugs they're actually going to fix and which ones they completely ignore, a lot of the updates that introduce these bugs into the game are intentionally designed to make certain parts of the game less enjoyable for us. Solo playthroughs of the Cayo Perico heist finale will trigger a cooldown of three in-game days. What? And after stealing a high-value primary target in the Cayo Perico heist finale, the higher-value primary targets will appear less often for the next 72 hours. This is intended to encourage exploration and cooperation between players. Who are you talking to right now? First of all, this is intended to encourage exploration and cooperation between players by force? Yeah, I'm sure that'll make solo players really happy. If I want to play solo, why are you trying to force me to play co-op with other people? It took long enough for Rockstar to actually give solo players a legitimate way to make a decent amount of money. Why are you trying to now ruin that experience for the people that you took so long to appease? That makes no sense at all. They are admittedly trying to disincentivize us from playing a particular mission in the game. Why are they trying to make any part of their game less enjoyable? Like the newly implemented high value main target cooldown and longer heist cooldowns. What the hell? Why? It's annoying and unnecessary. Why would you do that? Why? Five times in a row. Five in a row. I shit you not. Five fucking times in a row. Seven out of the last nine. Fucking tequila. It hell. makes it harder for you to hit the hard mode timer on Cayo Perico because it's longer, which means you're less likely to still be playing the game, which means you're less likely to make as much money, which means you're more likely to be incentivized to buy shark cards. That's the whole point here. They're trying to make it harder for us to earn money. They don't care about the bugs that ruin the experience for us. That's why they don't fix them. They only care about the bugs that might lower their shark card sales. And it's very obvious that they don't play test their shit. The majority of the bugs that I found during the Cayo Perico heist were found in the span of like a week and a half's time. It takes me between an hour and a half to two hours to complete that heist, which means theoretically it would have taken them 14 people and two hours of work to find the majority of the bugs that I found in this video. That's the same amount of time I spent playing the game and finding these bugs once a day for about two weeks. And the other ones, like the cab company, you literally just had to walk in. That's it. It was so easy. There's no way that they playtested that at all and didn't find that. That's such a massive and easily identifiable problem. In conclusion, Rockstar, get your shit together, fix your game, stop letting shit like this slide. It's just lazy and insulting at this point. I hope this video helped you avoid some of these bugs or work around them if you experienced any of them. If you liked the video, please like it, comment, subscribe, share it. If you didn't like it, dislike it, tell me what I could have done better, and I'll see you next time.